gonna stick with my shotgun.
those ones aren't very bad. They just explode if you get really close to them. I actually might want to wait for one of these guys to leave and blast him right in the face. I'm an asshole. I mean, but come on, if you've ever played these games, being a bandit is the most fun you can have. Unless you team, it's, it's fun to team up with other people too. Like that, that can be a lot of fun as well. Because uh, I've teamed up with like a couple of groups of different random people I met who were nice. Back in the beginning of Daisy, like before everybody was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm just gonna kill other people. Just kind of just how everybody is. I try not to be as much as I can. gonna go ahead because I gained like three or four levels I think and I can show off this level system which isn't so bad I could use and it, it resets after you die which I don't know how I feel about that I feel like either it resets after you die or it needs to be like I want to do strength because whenever you hold your guns, you sway all over the place. That's pretty helpful. Yeah, you can get these, and they reset after you die, which I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, skill points and levels and whatever, whatever, really easy to get right now. As you saw, I only killed, I don't know, not very many of those nether guys, and you probably saw that I didn't kill very many on that last page in total. But that's usually because I like to stay very silent and not attract much attention to myself. Make it up, please. Yeah. I don't like to attract very much attention to myself. That attracts the attention of nethers and other players. It's just becomes a big, giant cluster fuck. of the nethers quite as well, but I've heard suppressed weapons fired and they are still very loud. Not as loud, but still pretty goddamn loud. I thought that said six, not seven. Whatever. Right where I need to get out. Oh, never mind, I can't. 
So yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, I think that I might lay off of this game for a while because, you know, the performance is awful. And I might want to wait until like some future updates before I play and see if they start adding some new stuff. Until then, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Unless I don't know why they aren't coming towards me. I mean, not that I'm fucking complaining. Mm. See, that's the second time that just happened. I kind of want to go up there, but I don't know how to get up there. It's really cool because you can't go up there. Ooh, they're attacking another player. I heard him. Looks like the, sounds like the player fought him off. death message didn't appear, which is a really cheap way of seeing if somebody died. But I mean, if it's at your disposal, why not use it? So I can keep my eyes peeled. For another player. Because if they see me with a gun and they don't have one, and I haven't noticed them, they're definitely going to try and sneak up on me. I shouldn't have announced his position on global, even though there's nothing but global right now. I don't know what shooting them. You can also sell random items like laundry detergent, soap, cigarettes, random miscellaneous bullshit. They don't sell for very much, like I think the cigarettes are for like 10, which is, I mean I guess that's quite a lot for, for just some stuff that's pretty common. So if you find a whole bunch of cigarettes, you can make a whole bunch of cash dollars. I really... Starting to move more towards the main town area. Main town. Um, see, this area right here is the main, you know, safe haven that gets attacked every, I don't know, in its increments. But they warn you 10 minutes ahead of time, and players are supposed to go there, fight off like waves of nethers, and it's like a a way for players to work together. Which I think it works out pretty well because if that gets taken down and, and you don't like, because it has, they're supposed to have like these six, I think, devices. Like up here and so I know there's another right there. I'm trying to get the fuck away from it. Fuck. Stupid. So, um, if you don't, if players don't, uh, repair those, then global, the global inventory bank, whatever the fuck, goes off. But I don't think it goes off for the other safe havens, safe areas, whatever. 
hell you want to call it. Which is not so good because look at how close that is to museum. And then just down here is the other one. So you could just basically run straight up the street, go over here to the museum one and stash your stuff if you were there in the in an attack, you know just took place. Like, you can go there, but it's not a safe zone anymore, and you can't go on your global inventory or the marketplace. But I think you can just go to the other ones. So, I think if they want players to actually participate in that more, they'll have to take off the global marketplace for all of the safe havens and shops and whatnot. Right now I'm pretty much just walking around, kind of exploring. This is what this game is good for. I don't know, the sights are pretty much all the same, but for me they kind of just never get old. I could walk through, I could walk through this. Probably not for, but for a long time. Because canned food doesn't restore much. It's only like a quarter, or less than a quarter. But, um, It's really nice to see all this stuff and all this you know, overgrowth. And this is what kind of like, I don't know, this is how a dead civilization is supposed to be. This is a really good map. Still, I think this is the best map that's probably ever been made for, for these survival horror genre type games. I'm starting to get into the main town, I need to keep my eyes open for me or some other players. I'm probably gonna stop recording here in a little bit, but it's unimportant. As you can see, the street's flooded right here. Really awesome. I don't know, I think I could play the living fuck out of this game as soon as they work out some of the optimization issues that are just ridiculous with this, because I know that people on lower end systems cannot play this worth a damn. Like, I haven't seen anybody try, but I know that they cannot. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Alrighty, where do I want to head to? I think I'll go to... one more down helicopter. I know there should be one out in here. Oh, it's coming the day again. Which is good and bad. Good because I can see, bad because they can see me too, as in other players. And uh, this is obviously not in real time like Daisy servers are. Or most are. much laggier on the uh, it kind of light beam. Holy. Sorry. Sunbeams, light beams, whatever. They're pretty awesome. Fucking my place all day. Oh, yeah. Can't go in here. Oh, I better get off before I get stuck for it. Or shot in the face. Never walk on, if, if anybody ever plays this, that ocean that watches this video. Which I don't know. Maybe. Never go on these railroad areas because, like, up, like right here, it's all right. You got some cover, pretty nice. But right, right like over here, holy! No, 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 no! Please. Started doing some weird animation, like you saw me or something. Okay, so yeah. So if I were to walk up here, look at how open that is to like up there, all these rooftops and stuff. You could be down here in this grove type area. And it's a lot, you, there's a lot less visibility. Whenever you're going here, and you want to, if you want to try and do a sneaky ninja type, whatever, whatever, you probably should. But look at how, how you know, floated this is, it's pretty awesome. 
you want to do like a sneak type roll, which is probably the best way to go. Um, you want to stick to, it's pretty common sense really. You want to stick to, you know, the high grass, and you move them out of the way, but if it's high enough, it's still going to conceal you pretty well. And if you're moving slow, it should be hard for players who are just kind of scanning for you. Or just looking around like this, because like, if somebody's just like waddling through that over there, there's no way I'm going to see them. But the chances are, they're probably not going to see me either, if they're just like this, you know, moving through. It's not a good chance for them to see me either. Unless they've been waiting there and they're like, their eyes are set for like any type of movement at all. is bad. Crossing the street is bad because I'm in this big open. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. I would be drowning right now. But that's okay. We can be friends in another life. So you could be going up onto this highway, which might be a better opportunity. People could be up there, but I mean, honestly, if people were up there, they probably would have seen me cross this road, tried to shoot at me, or have already shot me. Because I think these are all of these serv all of these servers. I'm pretty sure are 64 player servers, and they're most of them aren't even half filled. So this game isn't super popular right now, at least. I mean, you've got a, a good amount of players playing it, but nothing like Daisy. Like, holy Jesus! First, whenever Daisy started getting some popularity, everybody was trying to play that fucking game. I swear to you. It takes a certain kind of player to like this. It takes a certain kind of player, a person, a player, same, to be able to like this kind of game. If you like the slow pace, sneak around, you know, find your weapons, find other people, other people find you, I don't know, it's just the suspense, the adrenaline, whenever you do find somebody, and you think, you know, is this person this person gonna try and kill me? Do I shoot him? Or you think, is somebody aiming their sights right at the back of my head right now? It's just, you never fucking know. It's crazy. Uh, some sort of combat arena. Oh, 
all being after the solar flares. Rupture. Oh, this area is pretty cool. We've got like all these skeletal remains, and this entire area is flooded, and there's these flares all over. These flares never go out. Don't understand. Sites and the um, underground helicopters and stuff, you'll find loot really quickly. And then it usually turns into the PvP type of stuff from there. And usually, whenever you get bored with the with you know the looting around, sneaking around, which is kind of starting to happen to me right now, um, you kind of look for other players. I mean, everybody does it. I don't care if you do And if you don't do it, you have thoughts about doing it. And you think about how exciting it would be to hunt other players. Do you know that shit's true? So I don't care. So I haven't seen too many nethers. really terrible. giant holy tree. I don't think that tree could have grown that big in the time of the fall, but you know what? It's like a thousand years. Before I end this, I'm gonna try and head towards the the main area. So I think I'm gonna cut and I'll and I'll be right back after I get there. Or I get something exciting going down. 